How are you ladies doing this morning? I hope you're all doing wonderful. If this is your very first time watching me, then welcome. My name is Dr. Michelle, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for being here today. I so appreciate every single one of you ladies tuning into my videos. And I'm really excited today because we're talking about my favorite thing, which is fragrance. I have been a fragrance girl since the day I entered this planet. Ever since I was a little girl, I would go with my mom through Macy's and we would spray perfumes. Well, I would spray perfumes all over me, all different scents, and I'd come home just smelling oh, like a flower bed. And I remember being in elementary school and people would say, Michelle and her potions, because I would take perfumes and mix them together and create like my own my own potions, my own perfume. So I've always loved fragrance. I believe fragrance is the most important thing that you can put on yourself in terms of changing your mood, putting yourself in a good space before you walk out of the house and just presenting in a more elegant and classy, clean manner. And as a feminine woman, fragrance is essential. Growing up, depending on who your parents were and how you were raised, maybe you were given like a body spray as a young lady to kind of freshen up especially around the time you hit puberty you may want to start you know just being more ladylike and wearing a body lotion or a body fragrance but as you get older it's great to be able to have like a signature scent or have different scents for different moods I know that for me I got to a point where it was just completely out of control because I needed a fragrance for every single season which is not it's not out of control by any means, but I was buying like four or five per season because I'm very, very scent focused. And what you'll find a lot of times is that if you are like me in that way, your fragrance can put you back into a moment in time. So if I was wearing a fragrance, say during a time when I was modeling a lot or something, if I wear that fragrance today, it takes me back to the photo shoot. Like I can literally go back in time mentally and feel like I'm back there. So it made me want to change my fragrances often enough to where I wasn't like experiencing, re-experiencing things that I didn't want to experience. Anyway, enough talking. I'm here today with seven fragrances that I want to share with you. As a feminine woman, these are fragrances that I consider to be very feminine. Some are more on the high end and some are more on the everyday kind of affordable end because I know that you ladies have different price ranges and sometimes you just kind of want to dabble a little bit. But for those of you who are real fragrance buffs, I will have more videos for you soon on some of the more um, I don't know, what would you call it, like delicacies, some of the more high-end fragrances that maybe people don't talk about often. And if you enjoy this video, then I'll do more videos because fragrance is my favorite, favorite thing to talk about. So I'm sure you can tell I'm excited, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm down. Go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's jump into the video. So the first fragrance I have for you is from Dulce & Gabbana and it's called La Imperatrice number no. 3. This is a Eau de Toilette and I have it in a 3.3 ounce. I believe that's the only size it comes in. And this fragrance is described as being flamboyant and energetic. Life is like a movie and you are the heroine. When you walk in the room, all heads turn. It's vibrant, it's magnetic, it exudes charisma. It makes you a force of character and it has a combination of succulent exotic fruits and bright pink florals that gives way to a musky appetite. And this is a wonderful fragrance for those of you ladies who maybe struggle with scents. That's why I wanted to introduce it first. It's a very sexy, sweet fragrance. It's wonderful, I would say, for the daytime. The bottle is pretty standard. Um, it's part of a line where they have different numbers. So this one's number three. And it reminds me of like a sheer fragrance that you would use when you wanna like maybe run errands, if you have a brunch date, or maybe if you have a meeting with a couple people and you wanna just freshen up the place. It smells very fresh and sweet. Some people describe it as smelling like watermelon. I didn't really get that. I don't feel like it smells like watermelon at all, but it does have like a 
fruity yet citrusy scent. It is described as having watermelon, kiwi, pink cyclamen, and musk. I love this. There was a time where they said that they were going to continue this fragrance and I was heartbroken because it is a signature fragrance in my opinion, especially for those of you who are not so much into perfume. If you tend to get a headache really quickly, this to me is very light. By no means does it last all day, but you can smell it on yourself. I would say for me at least two to three hours. So it's not overpowering, it's very sexy, people are always kind of turned on by it, and it does last a good amount of time because the bottle is a really nice size. 3.3 ounces and it retails for about 80-ish dollars. Now just remember, where you spray your fragrance is going to make a difference in how you experience it. So you want to make sure that you're spraying it on points of your body that are warm, that are going to really kind of give it that, that boost and ignite it. So I would spray the fragrances on the back of my neck, on my um, wrists, make sure you do not rub. I know that's kind of like what people think you're supposed to do, but don't do this. Just spray, spray, and let it kind of just dry out. And then you can also spray it here, like in the centers of your arms, like your inner inner elbow. I don't know what you call this. <laughs> so right here and right here, same thing behind your knees. So that also kind of like when you're walking by, that fragrance just kind of like oh, envelops your whole body. And if you struggle with fragrances lasting long on your body, I know my sister always complains about this because she believes that fragrances just don't last on her. I recommend using some sort of a base. I know that years ago I bought like a fragrance booster from Replica and it's supposed to like just make the fragrance a little bit more intense and last longer. However, I felt like that one really changed the scent. So some people recommend using a lotion first or some Vaseline or some oil and then spraying the fragrance so that it gives it a longer life. But just know, and I just wanna you know educate you on this so you know, in terms of the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, they are different. So if it's a toilette, it's typically not going to last that long on you because when they make the perfume, it's not as concentrated. There's less perfume oil in it versus an Eau de Parfum typically has more perfume oil in it and it's a little bit more potent. Those also tend to be more expensive because of that. There's more perfume oil in it. So just be aware of that, especially if you're someone who feels like fragrance doesn't last that long on you. Be mindful of the types of fragrances that you're using and where you're spraying it on your body. But I would highly recommend this fragrance for anyone who wants a clean, sweet, feminine scent for the daytime. Definitely a wonderful summer fragrance. I love this for the summer, but in the fall, it's also really nice in the daytime. If you've worn this fragrance, let me know. I know some ladies who have serious allergies. They love this fragrance, and for some women, it's the only fragrance that they can even wear because they're so sensitive. So this to me is like an all-around staple, awesome feminine fragrance. Now this next fragrance I have, I really didn't want to share it with you because, okay, I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes when I share things, especially things that I just, I love and I'm so passionate about and people start to buy it like crazy, they jack up the price or it's like completely sold out. And I shared this once and that's exactly what happened and I was so upset, but obviously like, I mean, I want you to have it. I want to share it with you, but th this fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance, and I just wish it lasted longer. But again, this particular fragrance is a natural fragrance, and well, let's just talk about it. It's called Isola Rosa, and it's from the brand La Torrel Aromatica. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. I have it in a 3.4 ounce, and it is an Eau de Toilette. They describe it as embodying the eternal romance of Italian seaside villages. It has rose geranium in it, and it unites the green floral essences with white peony, jasmine, fresh bergamot, and warm musk. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and paraben-free, and it retails for about $125. So I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I have loved it since the day my eyes saw it, the day my nose smelled it. I was walking on Venice 
on this street that I absolutely love visiting called Abby Kinney and I walked into a store called LCD and they have lots of fragrances just sitting out and when I smelled it I will tell you I just I couldn't take it like I knew I had to have it but at the time I didn't have enough money to buy it but I said I'm coming back here and I'm getting this fragrance like this fragrance I don't understand how it's not like you know all over the place it is a handmade fragrance again and it's made in Los Angeles so I do think that they make it in really small batches but I went back and I finally purchased it and every time I wear it every time I wear it I get stopped that's how I knew I knew even before I bought it I was like this fragrance is me and that is exactly how you should feel when you find your signature scent when you find something and you smell it and you're like, oh no, oh no, this is me right here, that's your fragrance, girl. That's your fragrance. So that's how I felt when I purchased it and every time I wear it, I get stopped. I get stopped by everyone, men and women. They want to know because it's such a unique scent. It's something that you don't really smell that often. And because it has those natural scents in it, like the geranium and the rose, it's so feminine and like sensual, but yet like classy and sweet. I even know like little kids, like my niece, when I would come home and like give her a hug, she's like, mmm, TT, you smell so good. So I kid you not. Every single time I have this fragrance on, I get stopped. It's such a unique blend that people just, like, they have to know. And when I say they have to know, because I'll tell them something real, like, you know, because this, this is my, you know, like, I don't remember, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I tell them where I get it. But because I got it from a store that's, like, a really small boutique shop, I figured, you know, first of all, the name is so hard for me to say. And I don't know if you're actually going to go down there and buy it. So what's the point? But they want to know, like they'll sit there and we'll go through the whole shopping list on Venice and find that store. They want to know what it is. And I know I shared it here once, I think a couple years ago. And again, like it's sold out everywhere. So maybe just keep your eye on it and see if you can find it. But it's my absolute favorite fragrance. It's so sexy and sweet and unique. I'm very big on natural scents. Um, I'm not really like a typical department store fragrance girl even though some of the fragrances I'll share today will be kind of some of those typical fragrances because that's what people tend to kind of want to buy because it's out there but like on a personal level I don't really like fragrances that are really popular I don't like fragrances that are like really generic I like things that are very natural that are complicated and this is my all-time 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 favorite they also have other fragrances in the line that smelled really nice like when I walked in the store and I tested everything there were some that I felt were wonderful for like the evening or for the fall but this one's a really beautiful feminine daytime all year round set and I definitely want you to check it out so you can also experience the way it smells. The next feminine fragrance I have is from Chanel and it's called Chance Eau Tendre and it's a Eau de Toilette. I have it in the 3.4 ounce and it retails for about $115. This fragrance is described as the delicate and unexpected fruity floral fragrance that creates a soft whirlwind of happiness, fantasy, and radiance. The grapefruit intertwines with the softness of jasmine and the smoothness of white musk. And its keynotes are citron, jasmine, and teakwood. So this is a very fresh and floral scent. It's a beautiful fragrance. I don't always get on well with Chanel fragrances in the past. It's been a very hit or miss and I know Chanel has wonderful fragrances and some of the most classic fragrances like Chanel number no. 5 but unfortunately some of those more classic fragrances are a little bit too heavy for me. I can be very easily weighed down by fragrance if it's just too overpowering and this one is right in the middle. It's strong enough to be smelled but it's light enough to still be very airy and fresh. It reminds me of an elegant woman. Someone who's just very clean and polished, like, you know, having your hair up in a nice bun with your pearl earrings, going to lunch, going to a business conference. It has a very inviting scent. I think anyone would get along well with this. It's also mature, but not 
not like old lady it has a little bit of that youthfulness because of the floral it definitely gives you that mature like classy sexy vibe with the musk end notes this is something that i've shared on my channel before and a lot of you picked it up and said that you absolutely loved it so i think it's perfect for any of you ladies who want a fragrance that's high end and can be worn in the daytime or the evening because i think this one especially like in the summer and spring can be worn in the daytime or in the evening because it does have a little bit of that sexy like nighttime undertone but it does initially give you a very clean fresh classy feeling so I would definitely recommend you go check this one out you can pick this up at any department store because it's Chanel so you can find it anywhere um, go test it out and see if you like it they have other fragrances in this line the bottles are pretty they look really nice sitting out I love a beautiful bottle I love it it's so classy and feminine you may not be able to tell on the camera but it's like a pink glass but there's another one where the glass is green and I really want to try that one out because I think that smells so good too so let me know if you've tried this one but if you haven't I would say this is a really wonderful like feminine staple that every woman can have in their collection feminine fragrance I have is from Tom Ford and this is a sexy feminine fragrance this is more of a nighttime scent and it's from the Tom Ford line and it's called metallic hence you know look at the bottle very metallic -y. <laughs> the top and the whole bottle have that beautiful metallic look this fragrance is an eau de parfum so again you're gonna get more of a punch with this fragrance it has a powdery floral scent. The key notes are pink peppercorn, heliotrope, and balsam. And they describe it as a soft scent of vanilla and creamy sandalwood that layer together for an addictive, contrasting finish. It has white flowers and aldehydes to open up the scent like a second skin. This fragrance is sexy, it's addictive, and it's timeless. It's not a scent that is for little kids, okay? This is for a woman. It's not overpowering. It is very seductive and sexy. And to me, it really does wear like a second skin. When I have this on, it feels like I'm wearing a fragrance because I know I am. But really, it just feels like it's something that's just coming out of my body. It just feels very close. You just feel like it melted into your skin. So it is on the higher end. It's a 3.4 ounce bottle. It retails for about $200. It's worth every drop and it does last a really long time. You don't need a lot. Just a couple spritzes in those warm areas on your body and it just exudes a sexy, confident woman. I would recommend this for a really like sexy date night. I would recommend it if you're going out like with your friends, some sort of like cocktail hour. It's something that you will get noticed with. I have been complimented numerous times when I wear this scent. People just kind of want to get closer to you. It's very warm definitely nighttime I wouldn't recommend wearing this in the day um, but it definitely attracts so if you've purchased this fragrance let me know Tom Ford does really well with their fragrances they have a really good way of allowing their fragrances to be potent to where like you feel like okay I paid all this money it was worth it um, and it really does have a unique scent now I know some people don't get along well with vanilla they feel like vanilla is just kind of gross or just too childlike however the way that they mix this it's not like a pure vanilla it's a vanilla mixed with some of those more earthy scents and it's a complicated fragrance you know it does smell like it's a high-end fragrance it doesn't smell like a cheap vanilla and vanilla is one of the most feminine fragrances it's one of the most attractive scents in terms of like attracting men if that's something that you're interested in doing men love vanilla it's kind of like straight shot it's it's like an automatic most men are going to be attracted to anything vanilla based so if you're looking for a lovely date night fragrance if you want something to kind of wear maybe to bed to spice things up a bit just to feel warm and sexy when you're just by yourself it doesn't matter i wear fragrance all the time when i am by myself i just love 
getting into that mode and kind of taking me to a different place emotionally and mentally. So this I would recommend for every woman. Now this next fragrance I have, I think is a really nice introductory fragrance for those of you ladies who are not so comfortable wearing fragrance, but you wanna kinda of start wearing it, especially if you're teenager, college, honestly any age but i think it's ideal for someone who really just wants to start wearing fragrance because it's so light it's super feminine and it's very sheer and it's from tiffany and co you ladies know about tiffany they make the diamonds and the bottles actually designed to look like one of their diamonds so that's why you have this sort of like sharp clear look it's supposed to resemble a tiffany diamond it's simply called tiffany and co after tiffany and company itself and this is a 2.5 ounce bottle it is an eau de parfum it's described as a modern artisanal scent with a noble iris as its heart and it's inspired as love itself it's supposed to represent love and beauty and diamonds it has notes of mandarin noble iris, patchouli, and musk. And I consider it to be a soft feminine fragrance. This is like the perfect feminine fragrance for the workplace because it's not overpowering. You don't get offended by it. It is very light. I don't think it lasts very long, honestly. However, they do have an intense version. So if this is too light for you, you can pick up their more intense version, which I think packs more of a punch. I would consider this to be a very fresh scent. It reminds me of like waking up on the beach and wearing white linen and walking with the breeze and just smelling like a delicate, beautiful woman. It's not overpowering so I don't know if other people will notice it on you this is one of those scents I think is really for you to feel elegant and to feel soft and just to feel free I think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous and I love love Tiffany diamonds so to me just the fact that it was inspired by one of their diamonds makes me so happy and it sits out beautifully like if you want to just use it as decoration it's gorgeous decoration for your feminine bedroom or a bathroom or anywhere where you can just see it and smile so I love that they put effort into the bottle the bottle is a good size but they have smaller sizes if you just want to check it out and for you ladies the ladies that are on my Instagram page a feminine impression once we hit 5,000 followers I will be doing a giveaway and I'll be giving away one of these bottles to one of you ladies so make sure that you're following me on a feminine impression and I will announce the giveaway on that page. If you've worn this perfume, let me know how you liked it. Now, this next feminine fragrance I have, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you ladies because you're the one that told me about it and I took the risk of buying a fragrance I had never smelled just based on the opinions of others, which is you know basically what I'm asking you to do right <laughs> but I've done that I've bought fragrances just based on what others have said and reading the description of it and looking at the notes and I am so thankful that you recommended it because I love, love it and it's from the brand Mansara Patty and it's called Roses Vanilla so it's a rose vanilla scent Rose is a very beautiful feminine scent and so is vanilla. So mixing the two together I just felt was like it had my name all over it and I just had 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 to have it and this is a brand that I personally have never purchased from before I had never even heard of Mansara but now I'm so I'm so interested I picked it up online from Saks Fifth Avenue if you have a Saks maybe you can just walk in and find it but this is an Eau de Parfum fragrance and I have it in a four ounce it's an oriental scent so no more floral this one is oriental it has lemon as its top note the middle notes are rose and sugar and the base notes are vanilla cedar sugar and white musk they describe this as created with using the most beautiful materials to create a fragrance that is fresh and sweet it's a multifaceted perfume for the strong free and sensual personality 
and it's inspired by the warm evening. I definitely, definitely love this fragrance. It has a fruity scent that is very, very complicated. Although it's described as an oriental fragrance, I smell way more fruit in this. It's like a fruit mixed with like something really sexy. Like when I first sprayed this fragrance, I almost fainted. Okay, I, I, I almost fainted. It was so good. I don't know how they blended this thing, but they managed to really mix in the roses and the cedar wood and the vanilla in a way where the vanilla is not overpowering, the cedar wood's not, nothing is overpowering, but you can smell everything. It's one of those scents where it's like every couple minutes I smelled something different and it all smelled amazing. And the top was interesting because initially I tried to like pull it and it was leaking, but it's because you're supposed to twist it. You can even smell it before you spray it. That's how you know. That's how you know. Mmm, it smells so good. And when I wear it, oh, the amount of compliments is unreal. Like, I cannot stop spraying this on myself. And I'm thankful because after this one ran out on me and I couldn't purchase it again, I was just so happy to have something else that I just love spraying. Because for me, with my fragrances, I want to be excited. I mean, you guys can tell how excited I am just talking about fragrance. I love fragrance. Um, I get excited just to put my fragrance on. If I know it's gonna smell like so good after I have my outfit on, it's the last thing that I do. And just getting excited about spraying something lets me know how much I love it. And this scent is magnificent. It is not for everyone, I can tell you that right now. I can tell that some people probably won't like it. It does have some pretty strong notes, so if you're not into that, I can see it becoming an issue, especially because it has lemon and lemon is pretty intense as a scent. I love the mystery behind this fragrance. You can't really put your finger on like what it is, but it smells so good. It smells so good. Um, I'm very interested now in trying out other fragrances from this line. They have a lot and the names are just calling me just calling me. So if you've used any other fragrances from this line, Mancera, please let me know if you recommend one and what it might smell like so that I can check it out. But I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for recommending this to me. Y'all know me. Y'all know me because you knew I was going to like it. And I loved it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you should definitely check it out if you want something for the evening, for the fall, for the winter, something that's sexy and very mysterious and unique. final feminine fragrance I have for you is from Carolina Herrera and it's called Good Girl because you are a good girl and this one is a very interesting bottle it's definitely not my aesthetic I'll just be very honest with you I don't like complicated things like this I like things that are very simple however those of you ladies who are more into the snazzy lifestyle I think this is a very cute bottle I mean the bottle is, is amazing in terms of like what it represents in terms of it being a heel as you know as a feminine woman you definitely got to have your heels on deck and this stiletto is very creative so Excellent job to whoever created the design. Personally, for me, the one I picked up was like a, um, I think it was like a holiday version. So it's really shiny. I just cannot, I can't deal with the whole like shimmery stuff. But excellent job on the creativity. So creative. This fragrance smells absolutely amazing. And if it weren't for my sister buying it, I would have never picked it up again because I don't like the bottle. I would have never even, my eyes would have never wanted to be involved. However, she bought it. It smelled amazing on her. Typically don't like buying fragrances other people wear because again, I remember that it's, I'm like, mm, this smells like my sister. However, it was so good. I just didn't care. I had to have it. it smells freaking amazing and I love this as a nighttime fragrance it's something that you can wear for date night um, for going out like if you're going to a party it's perfect for that because it's strong enough to where you're out at night you smell super sexy and people can smell it like it, it's really gonna go everywhere you go even when you walk out of a room you're still gonna smell it it's that potent and again it's called good girl and I love the name. It's an oriental, floral, and fruity fragrance. So it has a blend of 
everything. It's inspired by Carolina's unique vision of the duality of the modern woman. So it's audacious, it's sexy, it's elegant. The mysterious sensuality of Good Girl makes a modern yet sophisticated fragrance. And the heel is an ultimate symbol of power. If you give a girl the right shoe, she can conquer the world and it exudes the complex duality of modern femininity. It has notes of tuberose, sambac, jasmine, roasted tonka beans, and cocoa. So for me, it definitely lives up to its name. It is a really kind of like good girl, bad girl fragrance, and I definitely say it's a feminine fragrance. And even in the description, it's supposed to represent that modern femininity, that ability to be sexy, yet powerful, strong, yet soft. It just embodies the whole woman. And I absolutely love this fragrance. It is really sensual. Whenever I wear it, I get tons of compliments. Everyone stops me. Um, like I said, I purchased it because someone else was wearing it and I just had, I just had to have it. It smelled so so good on her and again she feels like she's one of those people that fragrance doesn't last on so I believe this one and one other fragrance were her only fragrances unlike me who has a ton I love fragrance I'm very 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 hard on fragrances like you cannot get me easily with fragrance I'm all about it and I really want to be able to help you ladies find the ones that you love. So if you want more videos on fragrance, let me know. I will do more. I hope that you all are able to find your own signature fragrance. If you have a fragrance that you absolutely love, 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 and you want to share, please share it with us. Leave a comment and let us know what is your signature fragrance. I want to thank you ladies so, so much for being here with me. Thank you for all of your support and all of your love. I love you ladies so, so, so much. And I hope that everything I share is helpful to you. It inspires you. If you don't have other women in your life to help guide you in figuring out the things that you should be implementing into your life, I am so happy to be that person for you. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Big kisses to you all. Mwah. Peace, love, and light.